For hole five of Greenwich Point, there's two ways you can play it. You can play it in a headwind to the left. Um, I would not suggest doing the straight shot with a headwind. If you do get a nice tailwind, you can play the straight shot and try and get over to the far fairway. Here we're playing at 10% mid club of our driver. You can use any driver of your choosing. You're going to use about five to six top spin depending on the strength of the headwind and you're going to use max right spin. Adjust your shot and then you're going to use about a half a ball of curl to three quarters of a ball of curl depending on the strength of the wind as well. For the second shot, it's just easier to go on the left hand side instead of through the trees and risking hitting the tree. So here I looked at the angle to see if it was any good. I decided not to because it was too risky to hit the trees. So I went for the curl shot on the left hand side. You're going to use max right spin with three to four bars of top spin. Here I was just doing a one to one adjustment and I did max overpower and full curl to go around. This is a very much of a play by feel type of hole on the second shot so you will have to just practice with it and see how your ball comes in when you do your shot it's it's nothing that I can really tell you is straightforward it is a very much play by feel type of hole here we have another headwind so I decided to go left and again we're going to be playing it at 10% mid distance of our club you want to put the blue ring next to the rough and have your ball guide just to the right hand side of the rough on the top and then adjust your shot with a 10 percent mid adjustment and then do about a half a ball to a three quarters of a ball of curl depending on the strength of the crosswind For this second shot, I decided to go through the trees because I felt like my ball wouldn't hit the trees. I was at a nicer angle than I was before, so I adjusted one to one basically on this angle and then spun my ball to the green. You're not looking to get an albatross here, you're just looking to get on the green. But I did adjust it one to one. I did a little tiny bit of curl just to make sure I didn't hit the tree on the left and I just squeaked through. Now that is a very risky shot, so it's up to you if you wanna go through the trees, but you can also go to the left-hand side. Both will work. For this hole, it seems like you get a more headwind than you do tailwind. Um, the majority of these holes will have a headwind. So again, I played it with a 10% mid-distance adjustment and I had my ball guide going to the right of that rough by the sand bunker, blue ring next to the rough, and then I adjusted for 10% mid distance of my club. Now I didn't do a lot of curl here since it was a left to right headwind because it was naturally going to push my ball to the right. So I only did maybe a quarter of a ball of curl. So you will have to kind of play by feel with the curl when it comes to taking this shot. So here I didn't like the angle I was at to go through the trees, so I opted to go to the left. I did max right spin, and I probably could have backed off on the um, top spin there. You really only need about three to four bars of top spin, but I did do full overpower and full or full-ish curl. You're gonna really have to play with the curl on these shots to see how it comes in for you and the angle as well. So I did do a tad too much top spin which I did get lucky that it stayed on the green I almost went long so make it around three to four bars of top spin only and that should get you safely to the green so here I finally get a tailwind so I decided to basically send it I'm trying to hit that pad um, between the trees and have it roll through the rough now sometimes it will not make it and you will get stuck but you will still have a straight on shot with your sand wedge or your rough iron so do not worry if you get stuck in the rough or in the sand you'll still have a straight on shot but here i did get lucky and hit the green and it rolled onto the next green but i did play that at a 10 percent over adjustment 
By going straight, you, even if I was in the rough or the sand, I would still have a shot like this straight onto the green. So your rough iron and your sand wedge can make it to the green. So don't worry about getting stuck in that position. But here I played it at a 10% elevation or an over adjustment basically and at max distance of my club. So this was at max distance with a 10% over adjustment and my ball guide going to the hole. And remember guys, hit perfect. Happy golfing.